Good day, good day. I see Gondolupe is in the house. How are you going, my man? Can you just type in and let me know where you are tuning in from, eh, uh, Gondolupe? Let me know what your area is. Scotty Woodrow, and I see Robert is in the house. Thank you so much. It's a Thursday, and we're almost, almost, what, 10 days Oh no, it's 11 days towards Christmas and another week or so till the new year. Robert Brock, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much. Um, I missed you yesterday. I missed you yesterday. Glenn Thornton is in Canberra. Oh, Glenn, I drove from uh, Melbourne to Canberra the other day when I was going to the Zimbabwean embassy. Um, there, there was an emergency. I think we drove for about um, six, six and a half hours. And uh, yeah, it was <laughs> it was a fun trip. Good place you live um, over there. Obviously, um, to just kick off this show today, um, I just really want you to know that I believe um, that if you're running a business online, I want that that business be profitable and enjoyable. And I also believe that if you're a business person, um, you should be able to create for and relate to your audience or the people that you're going to be demanding money off of. And I also believe that, um, you know, every human being that's out there should be able to leave, learn and contribute. And basically, our show today is going to be centered around content creation and the strategies that we're going to be using um, in the year 2018. Because at the end of the day, if you fail to plan, you actually plan to fail. I see Jade Fraser has just tuned in. Thank you so much for joining us um, on this wonderful afternoon all right so basically uh, if this is your first encounter with me my work really involves um, helping you invent remarkable products or services and so you can be able to tell stories around those services and I teach people a simple four-step system that is designed to help coaches consultants and um, service pro uh, providers to market brand and also package the services so that they have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I see, I see Chris Aga is in the house. Thank you so much. I spoke about you in the video yesterday. I don't know if you checked that out. I see Wolfgang is in the house too. Thank you so much. Now, off the four step process today, I'm going to be talking mainly about content. Okay. So my belief really is, um, you know, um, you engage the people that you're going to be demanding money from. You educate them on what products they can get from you or what services they can get from you. You inspire them to want more, leave more or live an even better life than what they are living right now. Now, you provide them with value, all right? At the end of the day, you know, you are paid in direct proportion to the value that you bring to the marketplace. And in essence, you're just positioning yourself so that you are the go-to person within your niche that people can actually go to. Okay, Chris, if you check it out, I was talking about the book that you sent me, The Jab, Jab, Right Hook. All right, so basically... We all know that content is king, all right? And we all know that um, um, at the end of the day, these days, the way it's all set up is the closer you are to the camera, the closer you are to the bank, all right? This is not me speaking from reading it off of some wishy-washy um, marketing blog or something like that. Um, some of you have seen me showing up every single day without fail. Um, you know, I was doing an experiment for a whole year so that I have results for myself. And I must say, being live um, on Facebook has done so much to my business than me putting out ads out there. All right. I'll be telling you exactly what my strategy would be regarding Facebook live and Facebook ads, um, you know, in 2018. All right. So. At the end of the day, um, it's, 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 it's all a matter of choice, right? It's all a matter of what do you really want your audience to have from you, all right? People come to the internet to get information. 
Now, are you going to be providing them that information? Are you going to be helping them be, do, and have a, a, a better existence, depending on whatever it is that you are going to be, um, you know, to be sending out to them? So, for me, my method of communicating and creating content is creating videos like these that are designed to help you earn more money with less struggle. So hence, I've decided to do a show Monday to Thursday at 2 p.m. AEST where I just give out content, tips and tricks on how I'm actually managing my business, um, you know, behind the scenes and also some value that comes along the way. And then on Friday, which happens to be tomorrow at 2 p.m. AEST, um, you are invited to a new Brand new show called Ask and Prosper, where you can ask me um, any questions regarding to how you can earn more money with less struggle using digital marketing strategies. All right, cool. So now that that is out of the way and we've spoken about what generally the video is about today, I want you to actually really, really take stock of how your year in 2017 went by. How much content did you put out there and how much of it did it convert or did it make a difference within your business, all right? I must say from what we did, all the videos, all the blogs that we put out, it's it's been a phenomenon year. You guys have benefited quite a lot. Um, the responses that I'm getting from a lot of people um, are also out of this world. So I really, really thank you for that. So henceforth, moving forward, 2018, you're going to be seeing this show, um, you know, with that fail. And you do understand and know that unless I'm out, um, you know, giving value somewhere else, or maybe with the accountant or somebody that doesn't enjoy or somebody that's paying me and wants uh, to touch the hem, um, I, I won't be in the office, but I will be, um, you know, pledging that for 2018, yet again, 2 p.m. AEST, without a fail, Monday to Thursday, we are going to be showing um, up for this show. Um, Vivian, how are you doing? Thank you so much for, um, you know, for uh, tuning into this show. Tough, how are you, my man? All right. So, like I said earlier on, 2018, the closer you are to the camera, the closer you are to the bank, all right? You gotta be seen, all right? There are, there are variety ways of, of doing this. You have to be seen in order to be known because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. If you are not showing up, your competition is showing up in your, um, you know, your potential customer's newsfeed. So how are you catering for that, all right? So you have to be seen. People now want to know what your personality is. People want to know if they can vibe with you. People really want to know where their money is going. All right. So they also want to see that. Have you got the results that you're going to be, um, you know, um, you know, selling to them, etc., etc. And social media is vital for us to translate that message or to communicate all of those successes and communicate that message that we have for our audience. All right. So it is not a fad. You got to make sure you are seen and all your glory, um, you know, so that your customers get to know you get to interact with you and be able to ask you questions and know that when they pay you money, they are able to get assistance when it's needed, you know? So the, you, the, 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 the whole, you know, human world is has changed ever since the development of the smartphone, all right? The way we interact, the way we um, we talk to each other, it's either through Messenger or it's either through some sort of, you know, social media platform. I was counting the other day that it takes, um, you know, it, 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 my wife has 34 ways and means of getting a hold of me, all right? So that's through different social media. So that also means your customers are searching for you. Your customers are present on these social media, um, you know, uh, platforms there. So you want to make sure that you're posting stuff that is helpful, that is educational, and that is actually helping your customers have a happier existence. Instead of you going out there selling, 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 be of help because the more value you put out in the market, 
the better, um, you know, chances of people wanting to know more about you. Now, Glenn Thornton says, gotta go, appointment time, uh, got a great tip already, thanks Prosper. Absolutely, thank you so much for tuning in. All right, so with only a few weeks uh, remaining as we bid 2017 goodbye, I hope it's been a good year for you, really. Um, it's time to really finalize your marketing strategy for 2018 and, um, you know, just identify what sort of parts are you going to be taking on from the last year and what parts are you bringing in from the new year? So amongst all the things that we've been doing this year, you're going to be seeing less ads from us as a business because at the end of the day, all I really want for 2018 is 12 new clients. All right. I just want 12 new clients. And guess what that means? That means I'm only just going to be getting one client per month. All right. If all goes well, all I just really need to do is reach out to everyone else that I was talking to in the previous year, because all I'm taking on board this year is 12 new clients for the agency. All right. So whatever I'm going to be doing, all of that is going to be nurturing the leads that I already have. It's going to be bringing them closer so that they can pick up more of my advanced programs and more of my advanced um, coaching and services. All right. So what you need to do now is check what did you do in the last year? How many people did you reach out to? Who do you need to let go of? Because there's no point in holding, um, you know, uh, leads hostage if they're never going to purchase from you. All right. And you need to figure out what strategy are you going to be utilizing as we go into 2018. Troy Holder, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So this is some of the things that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be going on a mobile first strategy. Come hell, come thunder. All right. I'm going to be adjusting all of my, um, you know, my output so that it's mobile first and then it recalibrates to desktop, all right? And then I'm also going to be getting more creative and more personal with my content, all right? Instead of doing all the, um, you know, overly glazed type of content, people are consuming bite size information. And through that, that's how much of their attention span there now is. There's no point in us going to invest in a $500, you know, commercial video that people are still going to skip anyway. I'm not saying don't do that, but that's not going to be part of our marketing budget or marketing strategy. My phone is going to be the creator of all the content that's going to come out, come out my phone or my laptop. So we're going on a mobile first strategy. It makes it cheaper. It makes it personal. It actually makes it real. All right. So at the end of the day, that's just about it. All right. And we're also going to be preparing for new platforms. They, we ignored chat bots a lot in 2017, but I think maybe we need to, um, you know, recalibrate and look at them a little bit. And I'm also, um, also going to let you know that in 2018, don't give up on email. Just get better at it. All right. Because some people just because they find it too difficult to reach out to their real customers, they find, they put it in the too hard basket. All right. Now, um, uh, Troy says just completed a content strategy, Facebook Live. Great minds think alike. Absolutely. Because if you don't plan to, to go ahead with all these things, you plan to fail, really. Because content marketing is not a hit and miss. Um, you know, strategy, you need to know what you're going to talk about, when and is it relevant and at what stage do your clients need to hear about it? Because our customers have what is called a buyer's journey. All right. I don't know if you guys have that. There's the discovery phase of people that are just discovering who you are. And then you now have the attention phase where people are starting to listen, but they don't still care. And now there's the consideration phase where they're ready to make a purchase and they're ready to, you know, to ask you to start doing business with you. So content marketing is what brings all these people to you because you're educating them, you're engaging them, you're inspiring them and positioning yourself as the person that they can get those goods and services from. And in the process, you're providing value. And as we all know, the more value you provide in the marketplace, the better your paycheck becomes. So content marketing is one of the most powerful, um, you know, um, engines for driving sales. Um, but a few businesses have a plan. 
All right. Um, can you just type in the comments there? Have you got a content marketing plan for your business? I mean, don't be embarrassed. Some people just go at it without one. You probably don't even need one depending on uh, how big your business is. But do you have a content marketing strategy or plan for your business for 2018? Please just type in yes or no in the comments so that I understand the people that are watching this. All right. So we're only a few weeks remaining in in 2017 and uh, now is really the time to finalize what are you going to be doing for uh, for the next year and identify what strategies you used last year that worked and those that you need to throw away first of all apparently it says 83 percent marketers consider a content strategy to be very effective when you want to increase your revenue the reason is it gives you clarity as to where you're actually going and you're where you're actually taking your business because if you don't have a content strategy, like right now, I've already mentioned, I only need 12 clients in 2018, all right? I only need 12 clients. So I'm gonna structure my content in as much as I grab those people to come along my way, all right? So at the end of the day, if you're not planning what your numbers are, you're not planning where you really wanna take your business, if somebody comes with any um, you know, funny idea, Guess what's going to happen? It's going to be a shiny object for you. And so that's why it's very crucial to have a content strategy in place. All right. Set some time to actually analyze what is actually working within your business. Are you good at speaking? Are you good at writing? Are you good at photos? What are you actually good at that, you know, people can consume so that they get to know you, like you and trust you. And guess what? Marketing is just one simple thing, guys. Marketing is just one simple thing. You just got to know the three M's, all right? You got to have a message that goes to a particular market. And then that market, you reach them out with a particular media, all right? Now, the message and everything else happens to be your sales pitch, happens to be your who you are, what you do, and who should care. That's the message that you got to deliver. And most of the time, you deliver that through content strategies all right and then the market the market is the people that are going to be receiving that content now guess what if you don't know where that market resides if you don't know what that market consumes if you don't know what books that market is reading if you don't know what blogs they're um, you know watching what podcasts they're listening to and all that stuff how are you gonna know what they will consume from you Simon, how's it going man thanks for tuning in all right so once you know your market and their content appetite and how um, you know their their attention span and what it is that they want and what stage of the buying process they are because like we said some people are still in the discovery um some are in the attention phase and some are in the consideration phase all right you if you know what type of content to take to them, then it's easier for you to use that content to, 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 to build them, to actually, um, you know, bring them across. Now, Tav says you forgot one other M, which is uh, measurable. Well, measurable is, is, okay, so, so basically with measurable, that's with the digital space, all right, where you can measure all the, 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 um, you know the activities that you're doing with your marketing all right, but you can still be marketing with a newspaper and that's not measurable all right uh, it still is marketing you can still be marketing with a rapper um, um, on a uh, or on a billboard that's not measurable because you can't measure the eyeballs that are actually seeing those uh, videos so um, I, I would say it is it is correct but I would like to stick to the three M's which are the message which you really, really got to have your message. You got to have, um, you know, your, your, your market defined. That's your target audience. And then you got to have the media, which happens to be the Facebook, the YouTubes, all of this stuff. So if you haven't got a structure or some sort of, um, you know, organizational, um, you know, um, 
you know, strategy around your content? How are you going to know if you want to reach your audience on YouTube? How are you going to know if Facebook is the right place to find those people? How are you going to know if a Snapchat strategy is the way to go? All right. So you really got to go in knowing exactly um, how you're going to do it, who you're going to do it for and why they should care to receive it from you. All right. And then eventually with some of those things, um, you will then have, um, you know, yeah, measurable strategies that you can utilize that you can now see which is working and which actually is not. All right. So one thing I really want to tell you, 2018, you've got to make sure you've got some sort of a video out there and 82% of your marketing, 82% of your message is being consumed, whether you like it or not, via video. All right, so you want to make sure you've got Facebook lives going on, maybe a couple of shows just to spice things up. And thank you, Tuff, for the suggestion of having a Q&A. And the Q&A, um, you know, brings people closer to you. Because 74% of internet usage right now is covered by video. And if you're not putting video out there, live streaming is actually growing in demand. And people's attention span with live stream is different from a pre-recorded video. All right. So by this information, you need to plan more about what the videos you're going to talk about so that you can, you know, preempt your audience so that they know what to expect within the year. So both of these, um, you know, live videos and, and, and your strategy in your content marketing um, plan will help you really, really get closer to your clients. All right. And Chris uh, says video with subs now. Yes, a video with subtitles as well, because people, um, you know, have been complaining about video that just automatically plays. So video in and, in and of itself. Whether the tactics you're going to use, whatever they are, but make sure you've got 82% of the content you're putting out there as a video. All right. And Robert says, and live streaming is great fun. Just saying. <laughs> Absolutely. If you can, um, you know, host a really good show, have good, um, you know, uh, pat uh, patrons like yourself there, Robert, it will be an amazing, um, you know, show to have. All right. So like I said, video. Make sure you're going in mobile first, all right? Mobile first strategies because there's different ways that a video um, is like people, people are, people watch their phone, you know, vertically like this, right? Although I still have to get rid of this mindset that I have that I, I'm, I'm, I film my videos, um, you know, you know, and landscape. I really, really need to go in video first, I mean mobile first, because not a lot of people are switching their phones, uh, you know, to landscape. And we might be missing out on a lot of viewership because it's just coming in in a different format than they're used to watching on their phone, all right? But also, if those people don't really want to flip their phone, they're not my customer anyway. So in the past years, the focus has been making, um, you know, websites more accessible, you know, to mobile, to become mobile friendly and about, I think, a lot of global users, you know, are now accessing the internet, you know, using their mobile phone. So you want to make sure that you realize that the tides have shifted. People are now accessing more of the internet via their mobile phone, all right? So you want to make sure whatever you're going to be doing, whatever content you're putting out there, be it a video, be it a blog post, be it a website, you're going in mobile first and then optimize it for desktop later because not a lot of people are actually, um, you know, not a lot of people are actually using uh, desktops anymore. Now, Shaunik, how's it going, my brother? Facebook Live versus video upload thoughts. All right. So basically, Facebook is so biased towards um, a, a live feed, all right? Um, with the live feed, um, a lot of people can watch in real time. You get uh, all that uh, feedback. With a video upload, you still get that much interaction, but your audience is not as forgiving, all right? So if they don't see anything they want to see within the first five seconds and they can tell whether a video is live or is pre-recorded, all right? 
And then they don't watch it. And guess what happens? Facebook now starts to think that this video is not meaningful or this video is not needed in the newsfeed and they stop pushing it, all right? So you wanna make sure that you balance it all off. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, Pre-recorded videos, those are strategic running around with one keyword, they're straight into the point and shorter, and live videos can be longer because, you know, people that are watching a live video normally prepare for it if you're, if you're consistent like I am, that people already know you have a 30 minute uh, skit, and if it's, if it's just a video upload, you're not guaranteed that you're posting it at the time that people really want to watch it, all right? So, I mean, it's still video. Video is still video. And with a, with a, with a natural video upload there, Shaunik, again, you have to have subtitles on it, all right? You've got to have subtitles on it because then what's the point, all right? So you want to really, really look into that. I mean, life is, life is easy to do if you are if you've planned your content in advance so that's the reason why i'm saying structure your content plan it out so that it's easy for you to just go in there knowing already what it is that you're going to be talking about all right one other thing about content in 2017 is to get more creative and get more personal with your content all right because at the end of the day um all of those doodles that people are doing online um, you know, those videos with uh, cartoons or whatever it is. Yeah, it's okay. It does relate the message, but people really want to see the person where the money is going. It's getting harder and harder to convince people that you're a big corporation, um, you know, when you're not, all right? So people really just want to see the authentic person who um, they're, they're going to be dealing with. They don't want to... Uh, so I I'm going to be... Encouraging all of those people that are going to be trying to, you know, do video with cartoons to maybe just either utilize Facebook voice, um, you know, and then maybe use that as a podcast instead of trying to be something that you're not. All right. So, you know, it, while it's quite clear that, you know, all the visual content and, um, you know, is a leading factor towards, you know, the marketing, um, you know, your success. Like I said, 82% of your content really has to be video, you know, starting next year. Your creativity may also need some boosting, all right? You know, you you you, you want to maybe pair some text-based content with visuals just to keep, you know, your visitors engaged, you know? Because people are already being spoiled by other um, people that are in your niche or your competition, all right? People are also watching other people doing stuff. And if you're not sort of on par with what's going on out there, why would they sit around and watch your stuff? All right. So in 2018, it will be more your visual presence. The sharing part is all going to be dependent on do people really know you? Do they trust you or do they actually like you? All right. And I'm not saying you should go away from things like infographics or video graphics. They're still great. Um, you know, and, 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 um, a lot of raw content is also going to be part of what we're going to be using, especially on Instagram and YouTube. Most of those things are effective on different platforms, but if your other, just check what your other, um, you know, peers are doing. Customers want to purchase products from brands or people they know and love. All right. So if I'm showing up like this for my audience, guess what? They're getting used to seeing me, and if you're not showing up, then they start. They're gonna start asking questions. Why don't you show up? All right. So at the end of the day, do what you may, do what works for you. But I'm just telling you what the market is now responding to. All right. So prepare to share more behind the scenes stuff with your followers. Um, especially, um, you know, stuff that's happening in and around your work, your growth, everything. Do you know what I mean? All of that is now coming up as, um, you know, micro content that people are getting used to seeing. And if they don't see it, it's going to be difficult for them to know, like, and trust you because Sally down the road is showing why not you. You know what I mean? I'm not saying do like what everybody else is doing, but I'm just saying your market is getting bombarded by other people. Um, you know, you might be really, really good at what you're doing, but the fact that you're shy to be in front of the camera or you're not, um, you know, putting content out there, nobody's going to know what you do. You know what I mean? And Robert says, oh, yeah, been doing that in abundance. Thank you so much for that. 
So really focus on content that's really unique to you, that is so personalized, that it, 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 it speaks your emotions, it speaks your thoughts, your dreams, your hopes, your, your, your aspirations, all of those things, all right? Because if you're not doing that, then you're not opening up to your audience and they're not going to know whether to like you, trust you, or want to have anything to do with you, all right? I could be wrong. I could be totally off. Um, I could be completely out of my head. Um, at the end of the day, that's what we're going to be doing. And that's what has worked for us in 2017. And that's what I know a lot of people are starting to do. Even people that had been shying away from Facebook for quite a while. You know, the likes of Frank Kern and... Um, you know, Dan Kennedy, they are starting to show up on live streams. They're starting to show up on, uh, you know, some sort of videos, uh, even if it's through an interview. That shows you the power and the focus of where, um, you know, this whole video and content strategy is headed to. All right. Cool. So um, some people were asking about chatbots earlier. That's also good. Depends on where you're at with your business. Um, like I said, know your numbers. Know where you are headed to. I just really want 12 extra clients this, this year. So there's no need for me to go out on a lush uh, you know, Facebook ad strategy. That's not going to help me get towards where I really want to go. Find out how many clients do you want this year? How many do you need to get per month? What strategies can you utilize? How are you going to bring them closer to making that? purchase all right i might just include a few touch bots because a few of my clients have been successful especially just on the customer service part but besides that i'm not going to be using them as 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 a part of um you know our our, our um our whole strategy because I love my clients so much and I want very few of them that pay really big money so that I don't have to worry about being around them, um, you know, 24-7, uh, all right? So at the end of the day, some other things that we're not going to give up for 2018, we're not going to give up on email. Um, some people are finding it difficult to see success with emails that they're sending just get rid of the list that you created because maybe you got those numbers or those emails um, from unscrupulous ways. If you did not personally, um, you know, receive those email addresses and they did not give you permission to email them, stop sending people emails that they don't want, all right? Um, just focus on your social media and your blogs and then people will come knocking on your door saying, hey, we might want to be in touch with you, all right? So at the end of the day, there's going to be a lot of interactive visual content, chatbots, a lot of storytelling because people already have all the things that they want, all right? But what are they going to be purchasing? Your story, your life experience, and your own capacity of how you achieved your own results. That's what people are going to be purchasing. They already have everything they want. So the visual content you're going to put out there, the storytelling, and a lot of increased personalization is going to dominate the marketing scene and the content marketing scene in 2018. The cameras are getting bigger. The screens are getting bigger. So it means you need to be seen a whole lot more on video. Facebook is gearing for Facebook TV. They're trying to take off um, you know, what YouTube has been doing. So that also should tell you, Content, video, and visual content is, um, you know, the way to go um, as we move on in 2018. Nicole Saunders, thank you so much for tuning in, all right? So you really need to carefully craft where do you want to go, who do you want to consume you, and how often and how much um, of you do you want them, and then document that strategy and incorporate all of these trends and just remain True to yourself, true to your brand, and don't get caught up in the hype. In the meantime, I really hope this uh, show was beneficial for you. Tomorrow, 2 p.m. AEST is Ask and Prosper uh, time. So by 11 o'clock, please have your questions ready so that we can answer them live on air. And then I will be more than happy to usher you into a grand 
2018 that is filled with less confusion, more money, and less struggle. Because I viscerally believe that if you're running an online business, it has to be profitable, and you actually have to enjoy working in it, all right? And you also have to create for and relate to those you're going to be taking money off of. In the meantime, thank you so much for tuning into this show today as one of the last ones for 2017. But don't you go away. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. AEST, we've got the Ask and Prosper. It's a show that goes on for an hour, so you can have your questions ready so that we can help you earn more money with less struggle. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.